Hello friends, uh, this is Nirmal here for Technique and uh, today we will have a quick hands on with the Z launcher announced by Nokia for Android phones. So this is a new home screen replacement for your Android phones which brings in uh, much more simplicity to your home screen and it removes the clutter from your home screen makes it uh, e much easier to use your phone. So this is available for most of the modern uh, Android phones and you can download it from uh, zlauncher.com. So we will uh, check out the new features of uh, this launcher. So once you have installed the launcher and you can see uh, there are a couple of things in this uh, launcher. First is uh, you have the date and time and on to the next side you have the calendar uh, which with the uh, new calendar item showing up there. Then you have a list of uh, six apps. So this uh, need not be apps alone it can be contacts so it can be web pages or anything which you have which you are frequently using so this list is uh, automatically populated and you don't have a control on uh, this list so these are the six apps which i have used um, recently or the mo most used apps uh, which have been populated here and at the bottom you have the general uh, options like uh, uh, the browser the chrome and you have the phone and the messaging so these are the options and then you have the app drawer so now let's uh, see uh, the app drawer so if you click this app list you can see all the apps are populated in the alphabetical order and you can uh, pick up the app uh, easily using uh, the, the order then uh, you have the options here so if you click here you can see the options of um, Z Launcher. so you can see web search is enabled then you have um, uh, then you have the option to reset the launcher selection that means if you selected Z Launcher as the default launcher you can uh, uh, reset the default launcher from here then you can uh, reset the identifier the system will no longer associate any previously collected data with you so that's a uh, reset the identifier then you have the tutorial uh, you can quickly have a tutorial on that then the launcher information uh, help and feedback and update option so this is now launched in uh, beta version so uh, there is only couple of uh, I mean there is only limited amount of uh, um, downloads available so you can download it from the zlauncher.com um, website and uh, then you have uh, a unique feature that is uh, the scribble feature uh, what this does is uh, you can quickly search any app uh, installed on your phone by scribbling uh, the first word or first rather the first letter of the app say for example if I have to open uh, Facebook I just need to type F so just type F and you can see the uh, it lists all the apps uh, and also the contacts uh, which starts with F now we can uh, start with the second word now that uh, F is already typed we can see all the apps which starts with F listed out here now if I want to filter out uh, the apps say if you have quite a lot of apps uh, starting with the word you typed you can uh, go ahead and select the second word so I just type A and you can see I can uh, you can see uh, uh, now right now it has Facebook and also the contacts uh, which are starting with that uh, word so that is filtered out so this this filters not only the apps but also um, contacts and other web pages so it's it's more or less like a default search on your phone and it works really well and it's really fast as well so if I want to open uh, Twitter quickly so just type P and you can see Twitter on the first list so when you click that it will open uh, Twitter directly so that's uh, that's pretty handy uh, option for a launch app and uh, you also have the quick options as we have discussed uh, before so there are a few things so we'll just summarize all the things first is you have the clock then you have the calendar and then you have the list of six uh, apps contacts or web pages which you are frequently using then uh, the bottom you have the uh, quick shortcuts uh, that is a phone message and the browser along with the app drawer so app drawer has uh, the uh, all the installed apps sorted automatically um, in uh, alphabetical order so you can uh, search uh, from there so that's uh, Z launcher from uh, Nokia it's uh, compatible with most of the modern Android phones and uh, we have tried it this on the Moto G and uh, in case you are not able to download it from the Z launcher site you can uh, check out the description of this video to get the APK you can download and uh, install the APK by uh, enabling installation of apps from uh, untrusted sources in the settings uh, security of the uh, of your phone so that's all uh, with the z launcher from nokia if you have any specific queries uh, regarding this launcher drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with your queries uh, if you like this video do hit the like button subscribe to youtube channel for more updates and thanks for watching this video